Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about a condition called surfer's ear and how it can totally wreck your ear canal. Coming up. Most people associate hearing loss with one of two things, either age or earwax buildup inside of the ear canal. And while these are two of the more common causes of hearing loss, there is also another less common condition that can cause hearing loss as well. This condition that I'm talking about is called surfer's ear. But before I explain exactly what surfer's ear is and what causes it, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a bigger audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos and I release multiple new videos every single week. That being said, I really appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what actually causes surfer's ear. Surfer's ear is actually caused by bony growths inside of the ear canal called exostosis. Exostosis is a benign bone growth off of an existing bone and it can be anywhere inside of the body. But when it comes down to surfer's ear, this bone growth is actually inside of the ear canal since the inner two thirds of the human ear canal is made of bone. This is what a normal ear canal should look like, a nice clear pathway to the eardrum that you see here. And this is what exostosis looks like when you look inside of an ear canal. There can be varying degrees of severity of exostosis. It can range from just a few small growths of bone to growths that completely close off the ear canal. Surfer's ear gets its name because these bony growths inside of the ear canal are caused by cold air and water exposure, both of which are very common conditions when surfing. In fact, the water conditions do not even have to be that cold for you to suffer from this condition. Even warm weather surfers can develop exostosis due to the evaporative effects of water from their ear canal. Exostosis is also not just limited to surfers. Individuals who spend a lot of time in cold and windy conditions, think of playing ice hockey, skiing, hunting, running in the cold weather, or just living in a cold climate. Oftentimes, exostosis can just develop without you even knowing about it. In fact, most people find out that they have surfer's ear by just going in for a routine hearing test with an audiologist or going in for a routine exam with an ear, nose, and throat specialist. However, in some cases, exostosis is discovered when individuals start to experience symptoms of hearing loss, ear fullness, and even outer ear infections that lead to these doctor's visits. If hearing loss occurs from exostosis like this that completely blocks off your ear canal, then it is equivalent of wearing an earplug inside of your ear canal that drops your hearing down by 30 decibels. This can also give you the sensation of ear fullness because it kind of makes you feel like you're underwater. That being said, it is not uncommon for you to get water trapped inside of your ears because of the vacuum effect effect that exostosis can create after you're done swimming or showering. This same type of vacuum effect is how a hamster water bottle can hold water in while it's upside down until the hamster actively licks the tube. But in the case of exostosis, you often have to just wait for this water to evaporate naturally, which could take hours. Exostosis can also lead to an increase in outer ear infections because of bacteria that it traps inside of your ear canal. It is also not uncommon for individuals to feel like it's just earwax but inevitably when they go to flush out their own ears and the feeling stays the same way, it leads to one of those doctor's visits that I talked about earlier. So what can you do to prevent surfers here? Well, first, you could just avoid cold and windy conditions altogether. But if you like to surf or do other activities outdoors that require you being in the cold and windy environments, or you just happen to live in a cold and windy place, that really isn't a good option. And if that's the case, then using earplugs is your next best bet. Now you can use generic earplugs like the Max Pillow Soft silicone earplugs that you can just mash inside of your ear canal, or you can take another step up and get a custom silicone swim plug for your ear canals that fits better and does a better job. You can easily get these generic earplugs from Amazon. I will have the Max Pillow Soft silicone plugs linked down in the description below. But if you want to get a custom set of earplugs, you're going to need to contact an audiology clinic to schedule an appointment to get earplugs 
ear mold impressions done. The audiologist will either inject your ear canal with impression material that will take approximately four to five minutes to set and then send those into a company that makes custom earplugs. Or even better, they will take digital impressions using a 3D ear scanner and upload those to an earplug manufacturer so they can start building your custom plugs immediately. While these custom earplugs do a great job at keeping water out of your ear canals, at the end of the day, they are ear plugs, so they will reduce your hearing sensitivity while you're wearing them. However, some manufacturers will actually make a custom swim plug that has a filter on it that will allow you to still hear while you're wearing them and protecting your ears from that cold water and cold air. Now, you're going to have to call the audiology clinic and actually ask them if they have the ability to order these types of swim plugs. If it's too late for you and you already have exostosis, then you can undergo surgery to have exostosis removed. For them to remove these bony growths from the ear canal, they will either make an incision behind your ear or inside the ear canal and basically chisel out the extra bone so sound can once again pass through your ear canal unaffected. Of course, I personally would not recommend that you go through an exostosis procedure unless it's creating a significant negative impact on your life, but that is a discussion that you should have with your doctor. And there you have it. That is everything that you need to know about surfers ear, from what causes it to how to prevent it and even how to eliminate it. So if you feel like you might have surfer's ear or you are at risk for surfer's ear, do yourself a favor and contact an audiologist for help with identification and prevention of this nasty condition. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.